three of the special with Nathan Carnage Corbett, and it kicks off with the weekend paper, the Gold Coast Bulletin, and uh, flicking there the back page, and there you go, a big story, a Dutch treat for Corbett, Nathan declaring war on Holland, and it all came about from the comments Michelle made to me in the first clip. Nathan didn't like it too much, so uh, after a breakfast with Corey, well, a lunch actually, we talked about what was going to be happening for the day and the things happening so far. So uh, outside Vintage, it's the morning or the afternoon now, ticked over to the fight. How are you feeling? What's been going on this morning? What did you do? Oh, I just got up this morning, went to one of the cafes, nice coffee and got the bacon eggs. As we spoke about yesterday, just filling up the stomach again. Um, then actually went to my my little uh, niece's one, one turned one uh, yesterday, a birthday oh. party. So that was pretty cool, relaxing. And my son was there and mum and the family, so it was pretty cool take the mind off the fight you know I try not to focus on the fight today until I get to the venue you know like really today between now and when I step you know into the ring nothing can really change so I don't want to waste energy thinking about it and and um, getting all you know worked up now too early in the day so just had a nice little lunch gonna go home try and have a sleep best of mobility relax and then uh, yeah sort of head hot head off to the venue probably seven get there 7 30 and then um, Go mingle with the crowd and the fans and a few of the sponsors. Yeah, it's going to be awesome and it seemed like a good time now to ask him about the story in the morning's paper. Uh, the paper wasn't too bad this morning, got in there and, and Pat did the story, but uh, I'm sure if uh, Michelle wakes up and sees the paper, he'll see the photo and it's going to be on between Australia and Holland. Yeah, mate, yeah, the fight has changed a little bit to just being a fight uh, for, you know, do it for our dream and just challenge yourself, but now it's a little bit of... Um, a bit more of a war, I think, is uh, up to up the dose a bit. So, um, you know, I'm definitely going in there and changed my mindset with this fight. So it's a little bit more uh, aggro, aggressive fight. Yeah, I'm fighting for pride. I'm fighting for my country, and um, definitely, it's going to be fireworks going off there tonight. Right, well, hope you have a good sleep, and we'll see you at the venue. Yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah, so the scene was set. It was time to head to the Gold Coast Entertainment Centre, the Convention Centre at Broad Beach. And look at the size of that poster there of Nathan dishing out an elbow. It's an incredible venue uh, to walk inside, and of course, it's also fun meeting the people that run the show, including Ray Matsumura. And here he is for a quick chat. All right, with the man who's put it all together, Ray Matsumura. How are you? Good, thank you. Good. Finally that day, eh? Yeah. Oh. You know, I love doing a sto uh, show about stories, right? I ask the fighters yeah. why they got into fighting and stuff like that. How yeah. did you become a promoter? Tell me the story. Well, when I finished uh, helping the promotion in Japan, coming to the Gold Coast, and I see the other fighters, uh, really good. And all these are walking on the street with barefoot and tough boys. And if somebody promotes properly, I think this is going to be world champions going to come out and we create John Wemper, now Nathan Carnage and I want some future fighter too. Awesome man. Yeah. You. Well, you know I love asking people about living dreams too, so if I can ask yeah. you, what's, what's the ultimate dream for Ray? Well, I want to export explosion to the worldwide and bring back to the Gold Coast because this is our home and also all the Aussie fighters do well worldwide, but you know, Aussie fighter, but we have a Japanese, all the fighters, I love it, but uh, walking on the dream line, it's hard work to do. It is hard work. Yes, yeah. I know that, you know that, yeah, you work you know that. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get there mate, have a great night. Thank you very much. Yeah, so great fun catching up with Ray, you couldn't imagine how much hard work it is to pull off a big night like this, uh, particularly with the sport of Muay Thai on the Gold Coast, but uh, Ray does a great job there and the crowd are going to love it. I think when you see the explosion special with all the fights, You'll love it. And there's Carnage there checking out the action, but it was time to start warming up. That's the cool thing about, uh, well, thanks to Ray for letting me come backstage and film everything, the stuff you very rarely see. Nathan getting ready to warm up, and uh, also the other people you meet, like the Sting, Paul Slawinski. Great fun asking him about his career. So what advice would you have for someone out there that uh, is a fan of yours or has just picked up the gloves and wants to have a career? What advice would you say to him looking back on the things you've learned? Uh, if you just want to fight, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it, give golf, play football. Really? No, 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 I'm joking. No, it's a beautiful sport and um, it, test, it, test, it does test you mentally and physically in many ways. Yeah. And um, yeah, it just, you know, you keep, 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 uh, keep having a hit, keep trying. It doesn't matter, you win or lose, come back from it, bigger and stronger. And um, yeah, it's a really good sport and um, you can really learn a lot from it. Not only as a fighter, but as a person, you know. Yeah. So, good yeah, stuff. it's good. I'm, I'm really glad I don't regret anything I've done so far in my fighting. So, um, yeah.
And so Nathan Corbett tonight. What's uh, what do you think about this fight with his opponent? How do you what do you think is special about Nathan? Nathan, oh, me and Nathan go long way back. We we been mates. We fought each other, and he's also came a long way from when we started. We both started pretty much the same, 99, 2000, and um, he's had a very successful career, and he's done very very well, and. Um, yeah, he's a good friend also, and um, I think he will. Um, he look good. He feels good. He's confident. I think he will be. I feel he will come out on top uh, tonight, especially after beating Tyron. You can see that that fight will give him a lot of confidence and a lot of mental strength, and uh, I'm sure he will do good tonight. So the countdown is definitely on once a tape starts going on the hands, and it seemed like a good time to saddle up and have a quick chat. So, mate, we've been uh, catching up. At sort of weird times over the last couple of days, and these are the times we've spoken about when you're getting your hands wrapped. How's what's going through your mind? Oh, I just shut, just focusing now, mate. Yep, I done everything, done all the media, done the networking, done the socialising, went out to all the fans and the boys and that. So it's time to rock now. It's time to get ready. I'm sure people would wonder if you're nervous at all. Yeah, always, yeah. every time. Like the first fight, 49 fight, same. Feel the same. I don't know. I can't speak for other fighters, but that's how I feel every time. Um, my adrenaline's pumping hard. It's war. What's about to happen? And all your fans and friends, mate, we're all going for you. So go hard tonight. Ah, yeah, thanks. Yeah. So you can see Nathan's mood there, a little bit pensive. Uh, all coming down to the big moment, getting in the ring, and same with the opponent, Michelle Andrade, from Holland. Uh, very nervous, and as you can see there, Nathan trying out the equipment. The countdown on, it was time to walk around, find another legend and find his thoughts on the fight. What do you reckon mate, the carnage tonight, a uh, big fight for him, what's what's your tip and how do you think it'll go? Um, I, carnage has definitely got the uh, more experience, but as, you never know, these Dutch guys are crazy. Have you seen this guy fight before? No, nah, no, nah, I, I have no idea, um, but coming from uh, Raymond Decker's gym, holy shit, Raymond Decker is the king, so it's going to be, it's going to be, oh, I can't wait, I'm really, really excited, I'm pumped. It's going to be awesome, man. We used to spar with Nathan a few times, mate. What do you reckon his strengths are for, for a guy like this Dutch guy? What's he? What the, what's the Dutch guy got to worry about tonight? Um, it's full tie rules, so elbows uh, definitely always play a big factor when, when Nathan comes to the table. Um, leg kicks, body shots. Um, Nathan's pretty much everything. He, Machine. He's uh, just, he's the, his name says it all. <laughs> so, yeah, so don't, don't be in his range and, and, you, and you might live. <laughs> Yeah, there's some pretty good advice there from John Wayne Parr. Stay out of Nathan's range and you might live. But uh, this was an amazing thing to film. It was like watching two lions separated by not a cage, just a, uh, a black sheet, really. And uh, Nathan there about to warm up, but stopping to check out what Michelle's doing on the other side. And then Michelle hitting the pads with Ramon Deckers, but then stopping to check out what Nathan's doing. So it was quite incredible to be there with the camera to see this. I haven't seen him do that before, to be honest. In any of Nathan's fights, I guess they're not usually that close to each other, but uh, yeah, amazing to be there. And this is Michelle hitting the pads with the one and only Ramon Deckers, and uh, I guess the worry for all of us was the, the high right kick that Michelle has. He can get it up there really quickly, so Nathan had to be a bit wary of that. But uh, when you look at the skill set of the carnage, it's just quite incredible. He's got everything, balance, speed, power, and just always comes forward relentless. So. Uh, yeah, probably nothing to worry about really for Nathan because he's just an absolute freak. But uh, great to be there. It's all come down to this. The big crowd was about to watch the fight. Hopefully you've seen the other clips and then you can see the next one because it's all about the fight. And I hope you enjoy it on the web show.